Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a Minric Madness featuring myself and Blue here on Babylon, the latter edition. Bottom right, gonna be Blue. Top left, gonna be myself. Not me, but a player named myself. We've cast a few games of his. He's a pretty darn good Protoss player. He knows how to use splash damage against Terran and Zerg alike, as well as Protoss. Disruptors are Splash, right? And Storm and Colossus and Archon sometimes. Lots of available splash damage for a Protoss in StarCraft II. Hmm, so no proxies from Blue. Maybe there will be a proxy here from myself. Maybe a Nexus first, depending on what this probe sees. If you want me to cast your Midrank Madness replay, send the replay to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description. Make sure it is Platinum, Gold, or Diamond level. And subject the email, Midrank Madness. Okay, so double gas here. Hmm. Maybe a Marauder push? Maybe Battlecruiser Rush? Battlecruiser Rush is not very good against Protoss, because Stalkers defeat them so easily. Oh, okay. So, it is a Nexus first. Hmm. I would like to know what myself saw that made him feel that it is safe to go Nexus first here, but uh, we'll see if he can hold on. And blocking the natural expansion. Uh, Alright, man. So... What is your plan here, Mr. Blue? Cybercore coming up. But the factory is almost done. Okay, Marauder in production. He's going to take down this pylon. But what are we going to do with this factory? Right into Starport? Maybe a tank? Oh, okay. So it's a 1 1 1 opening. Here from Blue. Tech Lab. I feel like this is going to be a one base push here from Blue. And Nexus first versus one base push. The one base push should win. But again, this is Midrake Madness. Maybe it will not be cleanly executed or the micro will be lacking and myself can hold on. We will see. <laughs> Good job. Take that pylon. I don't feel like he has any interest in expanding here. Maybe, maybe killing the pylon to think, uh, make myself think that he is expanding. So another gateway. So two gateways. Zealots in production. Warp gate in production. Tank out. Marauder. Medivac. This is a pretty anti-Protoss build here. Especially anti-stalker, but... Hmm. Maybe zealots are the answer here. Wow! Okay, man. So, 3 minute and 30 second medevac loaded up across the map with a tank and two marauders. This is a build. This is a build that Blue came up with. Engineering bay on the way. No expansion. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Pick it up. Pick, this is this is nice. Nice medevac micro. Oh, that zealot is dead. Oh gosh. 14 to 4 army supply. Uh uh myself, you're in so much trouble here. Depowering the warp gate before we kill it. Depowering the cyber core. Oh, stalkers! Stalker's not warping in because the pylon was killed. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Warping in a stalker here and two zealots. 16 to 6 army supply. Are we just giving up? Are we just giving up on the natural base here? Blue is expanding behind this. Another medevac, another tank, another marauder. Hurry, get them across. Get them across. Okay, are we... Nope, too late to save the cyber core. 
right, get out of it. Get out of there, Marauder. Get healed up, Marauder. Ooh, Marauder down, Zealot down. Another Marauder down, Stalkers inside the minimum attack range for the Siege Tank. And yeah, I feel like if you had these reinforcements here a little bit earlier, you could have won that battle. Nine army to six army in favor of blue. And a 35 to 31 worker advantage. Myself says, oh, okay, let's take a third base. Oh, a third base and a fourth base. Dude, what? <laughs> what is going on? Myself is so greedy right now. Oh, uh, siege tank, siege and up. Okay, so that worker advantage not looking super hot anymore. Charge lots, though. We did see charge coming in that production tab. Charge lots against Marauder siege tank. Not too bad, honestly. Yeah. That tank's going to get some kills, but also get completely cleaned up. Charge lot. A good answer here. No bases have died from myself. Blue just kind of trickling in smaller. Oh, he is making a battle cruiser. All right. All right, man. What did I just say? Battle cruisers are not good against Protoss. Stalkers are so good, cost for cost, in this matchup. Boy, we got no Oracles and no Reapers in this game. Man, didn't had a name ready to go there. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Blink on the way from myself. He's got the warp gates. Yeah, I lost the Cyber Core, but he built a new one. Uh oh, somewhere. Either way, hey, the battle cruiser's here. Worker count going down, going down below blues. Not bad. Oh gosh, that. No, don't focus the Nexus. Kill things you can kill. Oh, look who's looking at third base up here. Blues ninjing a third base at 12 o'clock. All right, so this is just straight up chaos. He's double expanding. 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Man, what are we doing here? Either way, the zealots just charging across the map. They're going to run in. Uh, this is going to be a planetary fortress here in, well, I mean, nope, cancels it. Says, come up this ramp, morons. That's right, Zealots. This is hard walled. I've got a siege tank at the top. I've got marauders at the top of the ramp here. Repair the supply depot. Oh, my gosh. Both supply depots are going to die. The Zealots are all going to die. This battle cruiser is still having a great time. Where are these stalkers? Well, there's only one. Fair enough. One stalker doesn't want to fight that BC anyway. Okay, so let's see. Land the command center, upgrade it to a planetary. You should be fine. Dude, this battle cruiser has 10 kills. It's 35 to 34 workers right now. Some SCP died on the other end. Oh, this is an Artosis pylon. If I've ever I've seen one in a while, that is depowering four warp gates and a Twilight Council. Oh, no. Oh, okay, here we go. This is enough stalkers. He has enough to blink out, right? Blink out. He has enough to blink. It's been so long. He's going to blink to a safe location. And then just wander into your mineral line and kill more probes. Jeez. My gosh. 13 kill battle cruiser, man. And now he needs to stay over here in the dead airspace so the stalkers can't get him. Or is that enough dead airspace, sir? I'm not sure this is enough dead airspace. Run! Get down here. Okay. Well, 13 kill BC dies. And it's 18 to 14 army supply. <sighs> more barracks on the way. I mean, people are spending their money all right. They just don't have a ton of workers. Myself's at 41. Really nice paying attention to Macro here, considering all the harassment he's been dealing with. Trying to repower his buildings. Double pylon now covering this area instead of the single one that we saw earlier. Mm, is he going to upgrade these to anything? No, not orbitals, not planetaries. Okay. Is he getting? He's going for Cloak Banshee on the follow-up. All right. So Blue is a cheeser of the finest degree. One base, Medivac Marauder Siege Tank attacks. Two of those, a battle cruiser. And then Cloak Banshee on the follow. Like, he has no interest in going straight up Marine Marauder Medivac whatsoever against this Protoss myself today. He j he wants to kill him with weird, sneaky stuff. And he's not doing a great job of it, honestly. Look, he's killed a lot of probes. 14 probes have died. But no Nexuses have gone down. And our guy is... Uh, it's just it's a four basing myself right now. He's producing four probes at a time. He's just making a ton of gateway units because, I don't know, it's, he's good. He doesn't need splash damage against this army that isn't really ground-based anyway. Right? Man. Shield upgrade, plus one attack coming in from myself. There's an engineering bay here, so going for high-sec auto-tracking. 
Not actually going for attack upgrades or armor upgrades for anything is blue right now. Okay, man. You do what you want to do. <laughs> this is amazing. What a fantastically hilarious game this is so far. Good submission, myself. I like it. Thanks for selecting it as one of the ones that are worth casting, Sniper Monkey. Again, send him your Midrake Madness. Email address in the description. Subject Midrake Madness. Gold, Platinum, Diamond is what we're looking for here. Man, 50 to 31 army supply, another base on the way from blue. I mean, he has these bases. He didn't, like, really saturate them all that well, though. He's not doing as good a job firing up four workers at a time, right? Banshee gets a cancel on a fifth base attempt from myself at 10 minutes, as you casually do with a Banshee. Cloak's done. Hyperflight rotor. Dude, you know how many stalkers he has. There is an observer, too. It's coming over. It's coming over. This Banshee's gonna die. You ready for it? Ready for it to die? Dead. Yeah, look, man. You force your opponent into making a ton of stalkers. What's really good against Banshees? A ton of stalkers. Ooh, we did try to kind of like triple attack here. There was a nice little something something up this way. He did drop a decent number of Marines and Marauders, but again, they have... Oh, gosh. Uh, they have zero upgrades, okay? Zero attack, zero armor, no concussive shell. No combat shield, no nothing. Oh, okay. And then the charge lots are just in here. Wrecking face. Wait, did I not go back far enough? No, I went down to something. Here we go. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's 81 to 43 armor supply. Your planetary can't kill this many charge lots, especially if they've got a shield upgrade. And an attack upgrade. Ooh, look who's getting combat shield. Hey, 12 minutes. Look who's going traditional bio now. Who is? Is it too late? Does myself need to invest in some splash damage to handle all of these now combat shielded marines? Combat shield is done. Working on stim. Stim's a good upgrade to have at 13 minutes. Myself expanding again after retaking this guy. He's just expanding like crazy. Blue's up here. This base. More, uh, both players just making tons of command centers. Okay. Blue, blue, blue says, well, I guess if he's making this many charge lots, then I can move in back into battle cruisers. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. No, there's still too many stalkers for your battle cruisers to do. All right. To do enough work here. This is crazy. This is very unorthodox. Some immortals are up. Those aren't going to be very good against much of anything. Really bad against marines and battle cruisers. I guess maybe he anticipated more marauders would be coming out. Okay, so passing in the night. Charge lots. And marines with combat shield and not stim. And the zealots are like, we don't care. Brah. Ooh, can they kill double planetary? No, actually. Well, one's being repaired. This is not a fair test. The last one wasn't being repaired, so it died. Charge lots in here. Metavax healing. My gosh, if Stim was done, maybe this would be a different scenario for these Marines. I mean, they're not going down without a fight. Oh, gosh. Stalkers? In? Stalkers don't want to fight planetaries that are being repaired. Immortals, though, against planetaries. Good. Holy crap, these Marines won that battle. I mean, they're dead now. This is so many Stalkers. Woo! Blinking on aim. Goodbye, everything, including those medevacs. The battle cruisers jump! Ah, die! Yeah. Warping in the stalkers. Stalkers have upgrades. Battle cruisers have no upgrades. Not even Yamato. This is not going to be a. Ooh, gosh. Okay, they escaped with one. Wait. 18 HP. Stalkers can't get them. Once again, Stalker Army's like, can we kill this planetary? No, with Marine support? Especially not. But it's 74 to 51 workers. Myself has just do been doing a much better job. A 1,000% better job. 
macroing here today. 74 workers to 51 is a big deal, even if mules are part of the equation, which they're not really, because our guy Blue has exactly one orbital command. Oh, man. A 12 o'clock base is gone. A 6 o'clock base is gone. He's down to a 3-basing Terran, kind of trying to get a 4th base against a 1, 2, 3, 4, a 6-basing Protoss. So, yeah, this is not going to work all that much. Is that plus? No, 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 no. That is, that is plus three attack, plus three shields, plus one ground armor. Yamato's on the way. Hey, little Yamato. Just leaving these stalkers here in case the battle cruisers wander in. Jump somewhere, dummies. You have instant teleport. Okay, relatively instant teleport. Jump over here. There's three immortals that want to fight you and a billion probes you can kill, I promise. All right. Myself's tried attacking into this position like three or four times, and every time it doesn't go well because Blue's just kind of sitting on it. This base might be a better place to go. Is he working on anything? Any attacker armor upgrades? No, but look, Stim and Combat Shield are done. Should I ask if that's enough here from Blue? It probably isn't. <laughs> Rucks down. Mission accomplished. We're going home, boys. That's right, Stalkers. You guys, you need to jump somewhere. Jump here, jump here, jump here. There are, no. Oh. Hey, he did the thing. Oop, Zealot's in here at this base though, but ah, probe massacre. Uh, and then once again, we have recall. So let's just recall in and wipe these battle cruisers out because they have no armor or attack upgrades whatsoever. And uh, we've got good upgrades, two, two, in fact. So, yep, I'm deciding to fight here. Not great, you're gonna kill some stalker. Oh gosh. To kill some stalkers, but not enough. Not enough to win. One twenty-five to thirty-one supply. All right, gather up the forces. Who needs splash damage when you're playing against a Terran player who's playing like this? Nobody does. Splash isn't really gonna help you, I don't think. The Marines aren't worth storming. Okay, maybe don't. Maybe don't try to fight the repairing planetary. This is a twelve-kill planetary. Not bad at all, really. This battle cruiser dies. Forge stays alive. That plus three shield upgrade is going to be done fairly soon, which is kind of bonkers. I don't see plus three shields at 17 minutes very often, but, you know, the regular armor upgrade is only at two, so that makes sense. Hmm, fleet beacon coming in. Myself's like, all right, well, if this is a lot of planetaries. Maybe carriers are what I need, but also, look, Stalker Immortal is going to be fine against these planetaries. It just is. Zero, zero Marines. Even with Combat Shield and Sim, there's no medevacs healing these boys. Absolutely not. Abs, get the Immortals in here. Don't attack. Uh, attack the Planetary with the Immortals. There ya go. And that's a GG. Blue taps out. Myself is the winner. Force base gone. This attack coming in. Probably can't do anything to stop this either. And that is a GG. GG. Well done myself getting that win i mean resources lost here 15,000 to 11,000 blue lost a ton of stuff seven bcs 33 scvs he killed 48 probes today and 53 charge lots i mean that's a lot of stuff to kill but no nexuses right and just didn't do a good job enough macroing behind the economic damage he gave to myself to win this game and that's the trick, right? That's why people are stuck in Mindrake Madness, is not being able to macro while causing major problems economically to their opponent. They can do that. They can harass. But back home, they're still sitting on, you know, 30 workers and nothing's going well. Three planetaries and an orbital died too. That's good not good stuff by myself. Taking those guys down. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was not exactly what I was expecting in this game, which is uh, something... <laughs> definitely definitely an interesting interesting pvt thanks for sending that in myself that was a lot of fun <laughs> all right that was amazing that was super good and that's going to be it for me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and Amendrake Madness. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. The path of the